Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to the Two Prophets program with Edward D. McKinney. Today is May 17th, 2009. I am speaking from Big Sky, Montana, the mountain of God. Today's topic is part three about events of 2012 and the two witnesses. The title for this part is 666, The Mark of the Beast and Your Key to Heaven. The two witnesses will reveal the real mark of the beast. The real mark of the beast is your key to prophetic understanding, and it is your door to heaven. It is the single most important piece of information for unsealing the prophecies of Daniel and Revelation. If you don't know what the real mark of the beast is, you are sealed out of prophetic understanding. Here is an illustration of how the real mark works. The book of Daniel and the book of Revelation are like rows of rooms. There are doors connecting these rooms. The doors are locked. There is only one key from God that unlocks the very first door. That key is the identity of the real mark of the beast. With that one and only key, you can get into the first room. After you are in, you can pick up another key that unlocks the next door. And so it goes until you have unlocked every door and you have been in every room. In other words, you can go through every chapter and understand for the very first time ever. In each new room you enter, you learn prerequisite information that helps you understand the information that will be in the next room. Prerequisite information is the key to your advancement in prophetic understanding. Why was prophecy locked up? Do you recall that God told the prophets Daniel and John that their prophecies were sealed? They would not be unsealed until the end of time. And yet it seems that every minister and his dog claims to understand prophecy. Well, of course they do not understand prophecy because God sealed them out of it. They are just guessing like everybody else. The prophets Daniel and John were the two prophets who specialized in the mark of the beast, the beast, and Babylon. So God locked up their prophecies of the mark, the beast, and Babylon. Why did he do that? One reason was that you, as a Christian, who is looking for Christ's second coming, would be able to recognize God's real two witnesses. Today it seems that every minister and his dog is claiming to be one of the two witnesses. So how would you tell the real two witnesses? Here is a clue. The real two witnesses are also called prophets, in Revelation because they are the first and only humans to really unseal the prophecies of Daniel and John regarding the Mark, the Beast, and Babylon. Go to bookstores and you will see that many people have written books about prophecy. But their books are only speculation. They are not revelations from God. Only the two witnesses have the unsealed truth of prophecy from God. Don't be fooled, because pretenders are hustling 
prophetic theories in the guise of understanding in order to get rich. There are many people writing books of prophecy, and some live in great mansions due to the wealth they have amassed from the sale of books about prophecy. Their financial success is attributable to their ability to get people all hyped on exciting theories. These theories might be interesting, but they are not the unsealed understanding from God. Remember as a child when the neighborhood kids got together at night to tell ghost stories? That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? We knew it was all hype, but we loved the emotional thrill of being scared. That same hype is what book writers are making their fortunes on. These art authors are adult versions of the kids who are best at telling spook stories. As adults, we know that we are getting hype when we read their spooky prophecy books. But it's still fun to get emotionally charged about their spooky theories. <clears throat> now, what do you think these hype writers are going to do when the real two witnesses come along and really explain the books of Daniel and Revelation? You know that they are going to be very angry when their financial empires are threatened by real understanding. Their natural reactions will be to discredit, belittle, and eventually murder the real two witnesses. We read about this very murder in Revelation 11. Let's face it, spook writers probably don't even believe in God. They are just exploiting naive believers. If they really believed in God, they would not pretend to understand prophecy. Satan's book writers would be furiously working against the real two witnesses in order to keep people from reading real prophetic understanding. This would have the effect of turning Christians against the real two witnesses. This would in turn keep these mindless Christians out of the resurrection. This would also cause Christians to be angry at God's real two witnesses. That is exactly why we read about the celebration by Christians at Christmas time when the two witnesses are murdered. We read about this murder in Revelation 11. How did God lock up prophecy in order to seal mankind out of prophetic understanding? Simply stated, God sealed mankind out of prophecy by switching number 666 for the real mark of the beast. After he made the switch, mankind was sealed out of prophetic understanding because the identity of the real mark of the beast is the only key that unlocks the doors of prophecy. How did God keep the key of prophecy out of the hands of mankind for over 2,000 years? When God told the prophets Daniel and John that their books would be locked up until the end time, he intended to hide the key until the two witnesses. At a precise, precise time in world history, just before the return of Jesus Christ, God would hand the key to the two witnesses. They would use it to unseal prophecies of Daniel and Revelation one by one until they knew all about the mark, the beast, and Babylon. Once the real two witnesses understood these prophecies well, they would begin to teach only those Christians whom God calls to eternal life. The method of teaching would be a book. The two witnesses were destined to write a book that unseals the prophecies of Daniel and John the Revelator. 
This is the book that will anger spook writers and the religious establishment to the point that that will they will retaliate and murder the real two witnesses, as we read in Revelation 11. How do the real two witnesses help you, in particular, get eternal life at the resurrection? We will cover this next time because we are out of time for now. In the meantime, you need to get real prophetic understanding that leads to eternal life. Do not waste your time and money on spook books with corny theories about prophecy. So right now, go to your to the website, researchliterature.com, and get on the book list for a real prophecy book. The book we feature will clearly identify the real mark of the beast and the present world leader who is the beast. This is the only book in existence that can do that for you. So you need to get it as soon as possible. Well, we are out of time for now, but next time we will continue with even more intriguing insights about the end time and the work of the two witnesses. Thank you for tuning in. Visit our website at researchliterature.com for more information. Next time we will continue this series about end time people and events of 2012 that will change the world forever. Tune in next time, May 24, 2009, Sunday, 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time at blogtalkradio.com slash edward McKinney. Until next time, friends, this is Edward D. McKinney with Two Prophets dot org.